me try to say this as, in as few words as possible. Lord help me not speak healing in the atmosphere. Hello, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Live Me, and all those other social media websites out there, Twitter. I say the world loves entertainment. People love to be entertained. People being oppressive and disgusting, degrading, and hateful. This is entertainment to y'all. I got one thing to say. My oppressors will never be my friends. They will never be my family. I refuse to sell out my family, my children, myself, my God, above all things, my God. Even you, my oppressors, to sit and eat as you do, to dress and talk and engage in things as you do. Even if all I got is just my children and me and a couple of random strangers that God shows love through in life. Or different people, bet one friend. I'm not selling them out for this. These people sit there and murder people. It's funny to murder your families now. You call them your family. Fools. Foolish thinkers. That's what that is. That's all it is. It's a garbage mentality. Y'all black people. Let me let me let me let me engage this because people want to talk about black people so much now. Black people this, black people that. Even black people want to talk about black people. And black people hate black people more than black people hate other people. You have a garbage mentality. If you can't think about it, you're, you're getting high. You're high with your family. You're killing your family. You're a murderer. That's not love. You're a liar. How about that? That's what Jesus said. Um... For some money, for a name, you'll sit there and, 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 and be proud, be boastful, shut down and, and, and trade on, and, and, and uh, what is it called? Reject people who actually love you. You're a foolish thinker. You're a sad, poor individual. A sad creature. You don't have no love or respect for, your, for God or yourself or anybody else. You're selfish. You're greedy. People who actually love you, you ignore them for people who hate you. People are willing to kill you and happy to do it every day and proud. That's stupid. That's not funny. That's not cool. And you think you're somebody? You're nothing with that mentality. Nothing. You're worse than a worm in the dirt. You people actually go to sleep at night? Oh yeah, but the wicked have no sleep unless they cause something to fail. But guess what? The wicked have no peace, neither. You don't know God. I don't care what nobody tells you in no church or anywhere else. You don't know God with that mentality. Those that love God worship him in spirit and in truth. That's nothing, there's nothing good about that. You're living a lie. Y'all can't even fast without being rushed to get hot. Again. You fasted for nothing. I'm going to say something. The difference between some of us and some of us. Those of us who diligently actually try and make an effort to do something different every day, even in, in the midst of our flaws and our messes, at least we're trying to get do different. At least we get, go to God every single day and still try to do differently. At least we're tired of dealing with the same evil bullcrap that we fall into cycle after cycle. At least we don't want to continue to go to it. Oh yeah, let's make money. But we're not going to do it the way it needs to be done. I don't know what they told you in these churches, but it's not going to happen that way. It's going to happen the Lord's way. According to what that says the Lord. You better hope you got somebody who truly love you in your life. Real talk. And you better hope that you can be able to realize it because you're going to need them. You're going to need them more than you think that you do. Because when you can't find them, you have no hope other than Jesus anyway. But if you can't find Jesus because you can't find them, you got no hope at all. War is coming on mentalities like that and you will die. And I repeat myself, in the name of Jesus, you will die. You want to sit there and continue to kill your family saying that you love them? You don't love them because you're killing them. That's not God's mentality. That's the devil's mentality. That's the devil's cup you're drinking from. You can't drink from God's cup and the devil's cup. I can't either. This is why I want to be rid of the, 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 the things that I deal with. Like pornography for one. I hate it. I know I only deal with it for one reason. But I don't have to deal with it no more. Now I'm asking God to take over. And do what I can't do. What none of you can do. It's BM.
and show his almighty arm. All these, oh, they, they killed Trayvon Martin. But they're like, yeah, yeah, somebody was right. Before another black person kill another black person, before you kill anybody, before you go get high with your people, remember this. Do you ever sit there and think like, dang, I could be sending myself to hell because I'm killing them. You're praying for them and you're working against them. How does that work? Can Satan cast out Satan? A house divided against itself cannot stand. This is for any and everybody. My house, my house, anybody else. Your house, anybody's house. I don't care no more. I'm tired. I'm not going to sit back and just not say what needs to be said no more. No. Yes, Illuminati, they're going to die. Rothschild, you're going to die. Uh, all these secret societies, you're going to die. In the name of Jesus, you're going to die horrible deaths. The worst of the worst are coming. China's going to attack America. Russia's going to attack America. So is um, uh, Iran. And... Uh, all their allies. They're gonna they're gonna destroy, they're gonna level and decimate this country because it's God's will. Oh yeah, God is willing it. He wants he's gonna allow it to happen. It has to happen. It's his will. He's gonna destroy America. And everybody in America that is not following after Jesus Christ. Look at yourself before you look at somebody else. Really, really do some self-examination. Thank you, Kingdom Drive. Do some self-examination for real. My question is, are you ready to go to hell? Are you ready for weeping and gnashing of teeth? I'm not. So the same mothers and fathers and every brothers and sisters y'all saying that y'all love, most of them are going to die. Say what you want. Feel how you feel. Whatever. Call me what you want. They're going to die. You might join them. You're going to die with them because you won't change. You don't want to change. You don't want to follow God for real. You don't want to get around real love. You reject every bit of love that God gives to you in spirit and truth because it's your pride. Oh, you feel like you just know it all. You don't know nothing. That's your problem. I've had that problem many times. You think you're something when you're nothing. I'm nothing without God. I can't even say, I. well, I'm, 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 I'm only what God calls me. If God doesn't call me, then I'm not. I'm not. doesn't matter what you say. Who are you? Who am I? You think you can run from God? All you prophets and prophetesses. You think you're not going to do God's work the way he wants you to do it? Think again. As he takes everything and everyone from you, if he has to, to make sure you do it, he'll do it. He's going to crush you. He's going to break you down until you choose to do it. Because if you don't, you're going to go to hell anyway. Because you're refusing the will of the Lord and the ways of the Lord. You're rejecting love and the truth and his peace offering. That's the way it is. There is no other way. Are you ready to get beheaded? You can choose whatever you... I don't want to do it. Every other way is hell. Every other way leads to hell. We could talk about Cuddler all we want to. All those who believe and who trust in the Lord and who choose to do His will are the ones who will be saved according to what He says. That's it. I don't care how I feel, think, whatever, or just my just opinion. No, it's got nothing to do with that. That means absolutely nothing when it comes to God's will be done. His will be done. There's only one God. Yeshua, Messiah, Jesus. Everything else is a lie. Everything else is witchcraft, murder, whoredoms, harlotry, prostitution, adultery, fickle, foolish witchcraft, abomination. You will be desecrated. You will be decimated. You will be desolate. Broken in pieces. War is coming. Is It is inevitable. It will not stop for no one. There is no more time. There will be no more warnings. Every wicked, twisted smile that y'all, oh yeah, I love you, I love you, I love you. And then you go, you go sit there and have sex with somebody else's woman, with somebody else's man. They had children. Now you're a wrecker, a home wrecker, just like they are. The same people hurt you. Now you're doing the same thing that they did, that they did to you. And you think that you're somebody... I can only say this because this things that I've been doing, that I have done. I'm not proud of it. I wanted to stop. Only one that's been able to help me is Jesus. It's funny that people that hurt us so much, sometimes we become so much like them and even worse. And we don't even see it. Some of you can't even recognize love. If it stood you in the face. You don't know love. Because you don't know Jesus. It's all about what we want. 
God, I want some money. God, I want a business. God, I want a car. God, I want a house. God, I want a woman. God, I want a man. God, I want some children. God, I want a girl. God, I want a boy. God, I need some clothes. God, I want some money. God, if you could just give me this, I'll stop doing this. And I'm promising, God, can I do this? And God, can I do that? God, can I? What about God? Please restore the relationship with them, a right relationship with them. They need a relationship with you. Lord, give them healing. But uh, but if, they, if they're not going to do your will, don't give it to them. Don't give it to them. Ruin their plans that go against your will. So you can teach them and humble them so that they will com they will change. Ruin their plans so they'll stop killing each other. Get in their way. Shift the atmosphere. Break it in pieces. Make it respond to your will and your will only. Disappoint them. Make them so they can't get no sleep. Wake them up out of their sleep so they, until they're troubled, until they choose to pray and repent, and repent and ask you what's going on. Make them sick to their stomachs. When they want to smoke and drink and have sex with other people, that's not the ordained husband or wife of you. Show them when it is you and when it's not you. Show them all truth and only truth. Remove the lies, the hypocrisies, the bitterness, the unforgiveness, the hatred, the confusions. Yeah, God's going to give you a house, bring in the tithes. And the tithes. You're stealing from people. You're stealing from God. You're stealing from God. You're stealing from people. Y'all don't want to go out there on the streets and help out those who need help. You don't want to pray for those people on the streets because you're so afraid of what somebody else is going to say. Or, or you just want to be seen. You're a coward. You're cowards. You're liars. You're cowards. It's all about you. Oh, somebody's going to feel like this if I get with this person or I be around that person. Or they're going to feel like this. They're going to treat me like this. Who gives a damn? They're not Jesus. That's petty, childish, immature, selfish, prideful. Pride goes before destruction or cometh before destruction and before a fall. Smoking weed with your family is witchcraft. So is drinking and getting drunk with your family. It's witchcraft. It's sorcery. Congratulations, you're a sorcerer. You're a murderer. How does it feel to be a murderer? Committing spiritual suicide and genocide on your own people. Mothers and daughters jealous of each other when it comes to looks, when it comes to shape or size or, or color or clothing or who's, who's around them and who's not around. How many, uh, how many uh, uh, friends you have or how much no acknowledgement you're getting or school or, or businesses. You're just jealous, greedy, ungrateful beasts of burden. That's what God describes that mentality of men and women who lack understanding, who trust in their own heart and lean under their own understanding. You feel like you got it? You ain't got nothing. Been there, done that. Doesn't work. I hope God tires you out. I hope he weakens you so he can strengthen you one day. I hope he takes your cars, your houses, breaks them down, whatever he got to do to get your attention. Weed is your idol. That drinking is your idol. Them drugs are your idols. You don't want to change. You don't want to go around people who love you because wickedness is your idol. That's your God. That's who you serve. That's who you bow down to. That's who you answer to. Devils. Devils. Some of the same ones that got the nerve to ask if somebody else is a witch and you're the witch the whole time. You speak like a witch. You dress like a witch. You act like a witch. Even if you have modest apparel on, you still act and think like a witch. Your heart is wicked. Some of y'all gonna look at this video and be like, Well, dang, he just going off on me saying this and that. No, I'm saying it to me, myself, I, you, and everybody else. You don't like it? I don't care. Jesus told me to cry out to them. Who is them? You, the viewers. You with the ears, you with the eyes. Trust and believe. I'm getting my conviction. I'm getting my chastisement. Don't even worry about that. Get the mold out your own eye before you ever come looking at me and say you have some type of way of feeling towards me. Maybe you did something that caused a trigger for me to act out and for, or for me to sit there and cry out the way God want me to. I'm not on your time and your command. You don't own me. You don't control me. You want to send somebody after me? Send them. I'm not afraid. I don't care who it is. I talk face to face and person to person, not just on the internet. You want some, come get some. Do your worst. 
I guarantee you that witchcraft is going to touch you and destroy you before it ever come at me. I guarantee you your threats and your hurt, your hurtful things and your attacks are going to hurt you before they hurt me. They're going to reach you before they reach me. Straighten your thoughts, straighten your eyes. You already captured and captivated by it. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ and I rebuke all that mentality. You people love confusion. If, the, if the, these people that left you and treated you like dogs, they don't love you. Don't expect them to come back and show you love. If you didn't see face to face the devils that are in their eyes, you keep engaging. Those devils are, are possessing you now. You're becoming just like them. You're terraforming or transforming into the same devils are probably worse now. Because now that you know that you're having sex with demons, some of these people, people you don't understand. You've been lied to so much. You better ask Jesus. Some of these people have become demons in the flesh, and that's why you see the demons you see. And you cause harm and great damage to the people that they moved on to. Because you won't let them go. Weed is a spirit of confusion in it, and you're suffocating on it. All you who say, oh, God put this here for us. I was wrong. I was horribly wrong. And I've seen the, the, the consequences of it face to face. If it gets you in so much trouble, whatever, whoever it may be, time to color. It doesn't matter what or who it is. If it gets you in so much trouble. That's telling you something. It's wrong. It's evil. But no, us do come here and tell you something because we know we can see what well, you cannot see. Oh, we're the devils. We don't want nothing for good for you. Oh, we're against you. We're praying against you. We're witches. We're devils. Okay, whatever. That's not true. I'm not a witch and I'm not a devil. I don't bow down to devils or witches. I rebuke the witches and devils and I hunt witches and devils in the name of Jesus. I'm covered in the blood of Jesus and the armor of God. And I come for each and every witch that ever tried to come at me in my sleep because I know you're real. I know your ways that you project yourself and you will not come at me. You will not take mine. I'll kill you in my sleep. I'll kill you when I woke in the name of Jesus because I'm a warrior and I'm a prayer warrior and I know how to pray. I know how to fight because my father taught me how. If you want to fight, we can fight all day, every day. You can come get some. I invoke the fire of the blood of Jesus against you now. You could be paralyzed in your thoughts now. You want to challenge what you're supposed to be challenging? <laughs> That's your job, Wicked. You're supposed to challenge us. You keep pushing, I'm going to push back in the name of Jesus. Uh, Jesus didn't tell me I had to be bullied by these things or by you or anyone else. And I will not be. Jesus said, all those that, that hate me love death. You love being around the things that God hates? That means you love death. That means you love Satan. That means Satan is your God. That means you worship him. That's why you do his will. If you're battling to get out of that and you really want to change, God will honor that and he'll help you. He hears your cries. He knows you don't want to keep going back to this stuff and back to those people and back to those things. He knows you want freedom and deliverance. I pray and you will get it. I believe so. Hold on. I'm fighting for you too. I need help too. I'm not a perfect man. I'm a flawed, sinful man. I'm a sinner. I've sinned willingly and unwillingly before God. I don't deserve nothing but hellfire and eternal condemnation. These ain't just words to me, man. But all those who you sit there and mock at those who actually do what you won't do or what you're scared to do or what you refuse to do. I know persecution. You're not in the streets sitting there preaching God's will. You're not taking time to, to, to take from your house to do what God wants you to do. So why you open up your mouth for such a foolish way to sit there and try to challenge or condemn somebody else? Who are you? What right do you have? If you, you don't want to follow Jesus, you ain't got no rights. Your end is destruction. Seek ye me while you live, right? Or why I can be found. This is what the Lord said. War is coming. This nation will be destroyed. Get ready for the fiery hailstones that will come down from heaven too. Oh yeah. Get ready for the nuclear bombs and the attacks out of nowhere. We got so much to talk about. If you don't love Jesus, you got nothing anyway. You ain't got no hope. We have hope. Salvation will come for us.
I rebuke everything that's not of God anyway. Anything that's not of him, don't make him happy. Let it let it perish where it's at. If they want to change, save them, Lord. This is real. Jail.